Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alice. I go by Hello Alice here on YouTube and I make art videos. And today I want to sit down and have a little chat with you guys and I want to talk about the idea of bad art. So I don't really like the term bad art, but I'm hoping that by the end of this video we can kind of look at the idea of bad art with a different perspective because bad art and making bad art, first of all, it's okay to make bad art, but not only is it okay, I think it's important and sometimes necessary to make bad art. And there's a couple of reasons why, and I, I wanna go into that. So the first reason why it's okay to make bad art is that it's kinda like, you know, without the bad, there's no good. If you don't ever make bad art, then you can never make good art. You, you, you make good art because you learn a skill. And in order to learn that skill, you have to do it wrong. Like you have to do things wrong before you can figure out how to do them right. And you're never gonna be a good artist if you don't make some bad art along the way. Because if you're not making bad art, you're not learning. Um, which kind of brings me to my second thing, which kind of ties into that, which is that if you don't make bad art, you'll never see how much you've improved. And one of the people that kind of inspired me talking about this is uh, the artist Amanda Elise. And um, she started this whole initiative that's like hashtag make bad art. And she made a whole video on it. I'll post the link down below where she kind of talks about how artists don't really show their process as much on um, social media. And if we do, it's like a really good process. You know, it's not, it's not all of the trial and the pain and the suffering and the really shitty work that it took us to get there. She was talking about how it's important for young artists to see and to know that when you draw something, it, it doesn't work out right away. Sometimes you have to draw things multiple times. Sometimes you have to make something really bad. And you know, in this video, I'm not showing you guys bad art. I'm actually pretty happy with how this piece came out. Um, but I do want to sh show you guys bad art in the future because I think it is important. And even this painting itself, I mean, I redrew the face about six or seven times. I didn't film it because I have a hard time drawing on camera, but you know, it, it takes it takes time to get something right. And you're never gonna see how far you've come if you can't see where you've come from. And I think that's really important too. But the big thing, there's one really big thing that I wanna talk about today. So there's one thing here that I wanna talk about that I really don't hear people talk about a lot and that's what I'm gonna focus on for the most of this video. And that is that it's okay to not be a professional artist. You don't have to be good at art to make art. I feel like so many people as artists feel like they need to be as good at art as some of the professionals. They need to be as good as, you know, Disney artists. They need to be as good as uh, comic book artists. They need to be as good as whoever their idol is, as, as YouTubers, as uh, Lowish, as their Instagram favorite artists. Like, they need to be that good. But if art isn't going to be your career, then you don't need to be that good. And it's okay to not be that good. I think for some reason, this attitude I see in art, but I don't see it anywhere else. Um, so when I think about playing an instrument, right, there are plenty of people that go into a career playing instruments and, and they do, they need to be good. They need to be really, really good because it's a hard career, just like being an artist. But there's also a lot of people that play guitar on their spare time and they learn and you know they try to get better but they know they're never going to be Jimi Hendrix and they're okay with that because it's not their job they're just playing guitar for fun they're playing it because it's cool and they want to learn and yeah sometimes they're going to mess up the chords sometimes they're going to mess you know mess up the song it's not going to come out right sometimes it's going to be hard for them to learn a certain song or a certain progression but they do it because it's fun and they don't beat themselves up for not being as good as a professional guitarist. And then if you think about sports too, there are loads of people out there that play, you know, that go play on a volleyball team at work. They're not that good at volleyball, but it's fun and they enjoy it. It gets them out. It gets them moving. They don't have to be a professional volleyball player or be as good as a professional volleyball player to enjoy playing volleyball. And I see this in so much, but when it comes to art, 
it seems like the idea of mediocrity, and I don't mean mediocrity in a bad way at all, it seems like that's not allowed. Like, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna make art, then you need to be an artist, and you need to be good at it. And if you're not good at it, then, oh, oh, I can't even draw a stick figure, I'm not, I'm not even gonna bother. It's, it's such an extreme world, it's like, you have to be amazing, or you're terrible, and, and there is no in-between. But the thing is, is the act of creating art, the process of making, that's what art is about. It's not about the end result. Yes, the end result is important and you, you want to create something pretty and obviously you want to be as, you know, the best that you can be. But it's the process of creating art that is really what draws a lot of people to art. It's very therapeutic, especially for me painting, like you just get in the zone and you're just chilling and, you know, there's a reason that art therapy is a thing. Um, and I think the art can be so beneficial to so many people, but because they don't feel like they're good enough, they don't do it. But the thing is, is you don't have to be that good. Your art doesn't have to turn out good. As long as you enjoyed making it, then that's literally the only thing that matters because it's not about the results, it's about creating art. You can think your art is the worst art in the world, but you still made it. You're still, you still created that. And I think that's the reason why uh, a lot of these like kind of Pinterest crafts and adult coloring books and things take off because people feel like they can do that and it's a safe environment and, and they don't have to be like the best ever. But when it comes to making fine art and drawing and painting, there's still the stigma that you need to be like a fine artiste, but you don't. Art can be fun. Art doesn't have to be this serious thing with galleries and whatever. No, ho, ho, ho. look at this composition with the um, lighting and it just reminds me of the gender binary of the... I don't even know what I'm saying. I can't, I can't BS right now, but it doesn't have to be so serious. Art can be fun and it's okay to just make bad art, make mediocre art. Make art that's not professional art because you're not a professional. There are other things that you're probably way better at than an artist. If you're like an accountant, I have no idea how taxes work. Like, I'm sorry, how do you figure that out? I tried looking at the forms and it was like, what, what is happening, right? So like everyone has their one skill, the thing they make a career out of, but art can be a hobby and it can be a fun hobby, and, and it doesn't have to be something that has so much pressure on it. So if you're an artist out there, doesn't matter what your age is, if you know art is just fun for you and it's not a career, just allow yourself to make bad art. And obviously not all the art you make is gonna be bad, but if you're struggling feeling like you're not good enough, it's okay. It's okay to be an amateur. There's something really beautiful in that. There's something really beautiful in art from outsiders and from people that aren't as involved in the art community. Um, you guys can do things that other people just can't do and it's really cool. So anyway, that's all I wanted to tell you guys about bad art. Um, bad art is pretty cool and it can be a positive thing and it can bring you joy and therapy and help and I would encourage you to go out and make some bad art or make some good art. Just make art. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little speed drawing while I was talking about bad art. Um, for anyone that is curious, this is done on the Arche Rough with my Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils and uh, my Dan Smith watercolors. And I also tried out the Fine Tech Gold Metallic palette because I got that for my birthday and I haven't had the chance to try it yet. It was awesome. I'm actually really happy with how this picture came out, so I hope you guys like it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, come join the Wonderland fam. It's a lot of fun. We make art. We eat pizza. Um, and yeah, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I do upload new videos every single Friday. And yeah, thanks for watching, and as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys! Thank you.